All right, what is up, Running Wild fans? I am uh, going to review the newest, the latest Running Wild album, Blood on Blood. Um, got here in a nice little digi pack, which I'm not really big on digi packs, but I will admit they're getting better. They're getting a little more uh, less wimpy and a little, little more durable. But so I did my recently. I did my uh, least to favorite. Uh, running wild album ranking list and um, this was not included because I did not have it yet um, I already told the story I wasn't really that interested in a lot of stuff during the COVID years I was just kind of like blah this is lame so I just didn't really check out a whole lot of stuff so I completely missed out on this it's the first like running wild album I missed out on since I got into them, and that was probably around 2004, or so when they did, like, Rogues and Vogue. So, but to be honest, there are certain bands that, like, you know, if Blind Guardian were to release an album, I would have known, you know, I I wouldn't have missed out on that or something, but, um, but this is Running Wild. Uh, I love Running Wild, okay? They're one of my top favorite bands. However, um... Their better days are behind them, clearly. Um, I still think Rolf has it in him to make good good, good albums. I'm, I'm still kind of hoping, like, one of these days he'll come back and do, like, another Death or Glory or something. But I don't think that's going to happen because... And the reason why I'm going to say that, this album Rolf was very, very proud of. Um... He said that I think during like those that COVID time, he spent some extra time uh, fine tuning this album, and I guess he's super proud of it. So if he's if this is fine tuning and this is the absolute best he can do, don't do not expect a Death or Glory to come out in the future. However, I do hear I do hear the benefits of him putting some extra time into this. I see what he's saying. Um, I would not call this an instant classic, but the album that came out before this was, uh, Rapid Foray. And, um, I was ple pretty pleased with that one. It, it wasn't perfect, but I felt like Rolf was trying harder because the two albums that came out before that, Resilient and Shadowmaker, were just like... Like, dude, either you're out of ideas or you just don't care anymore is kind of how I looked at it. So Rapid 4A breathed some new life into them. Um, and then uh, this came out. And I was kind of expecting, well, it's just going to be more of the same. It's going to be boring. It's, well, I'll be honest. It, did, it didn't blow my mind, <laughs> but it wasn't bad. I mean, it didn't like... It wasn't, it's definitely no resilient or shadow maker. Let's just say that. Um, this is definitely nothing new or free, refreshing, or it still has Angelo Sasso on drums, meaning there's no drummer. Um, so, yeah, we're using dr drum machines still. I, I don't know why this is even, why Rolf keeps doing this. I just think he likes. To work alone I don't know <laughs> I don't know but I will say this for fake drums it, it is sounding better with each album it's sounding a lot less annoyingly fake the production of this by the way is actually really good um, I mean it's about as good as a production can get nowadays the guitar tones awesome um, I mean, for fake drums, they, you know, they, they fill out the sound pretty well. It's not bad. Rolf's vocals are a little bit of a mixture of new and old. Like, he's kind of got that real, real, like, masculine, rough, you know, vocal style from, like, Pile of Skulls and uh, Black Hand In. But he's still kind of got that little bit of that wimpiness like he's kind of starting to sound like a frail old man sometimes uh <laughs> sorry rolf i don't i don't mean to say you're old but uh but sometimes when he sings like nowadays you don't put enough power into it and it kind of kind of sounds a little weak um but 
for the most part, this album's pretty powerful. It's it's definitely it's definitely uh, some metal. I mean, I just I just say that uh, maybe a little bit more on the hard rock side at times, rather than full blown in your face heavy metal. Don't expect any speed metal tracks like like Whirlwind or or uh, Mr. Deadhead or whatever. Don't expect anything like that. But it's definitely some good fist in the air heavy metal. It's nothing you've never heard before though. There's no songs on here with maybe the exception of one that really did anything that was like kind of different. And I have mixed feelings about. So we got let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. So oh, we got ten songs. There's ten songs on here. Blood on Blood just starts off very typical running wild rock and roll riffing you know it's got a little bit of that pirate metal sound but it's still pretty typical wings of fire i have to admit is a pretty good song uh it's even though it's nothing completely fresh it it's got a nice it's got a nice course it's not bad number three say your prayers kind of the same the same boat uh it's not uh it's not really anything new but it's got a pretty good chorus. Uh, Diamonds and Pearls. This is kind of the uh, one of the more faster songs on the album. It's nothing ridiculously fast or headbanging, but it's it's definitely one of the heavier numbers, I guess. Um, Wild and Free. Um, just another heavy metal song about being free and riding motorcycles, whatever. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing new, but it's good. Crossing the Blades, uh, kind of a good pirate sort of song. Um, I mean, I'm just assuming it's a pirate song. Uh, it sounds like it could be, but it, it, it kind, of, but it, it definitely has like that typical sort of like an epic Running Wild vibe to it. Nothing too terribly epic, but um, and then we got One Night One Day. This is the song that I'll, I'll be honest. When I first heard it, I'm like, oh, something different. Like this might be kind of cool. It's okay. I, I I appreciate that it's unique, but um, it kind of gets on my nerves just a little bit. It, sorry, you might hear some sirens. <laughs> Those are the Rolf sirens. Yeah, ambulance. Um, all right. Uh, where, where were we? Yeah, one night, one day. I like it sort of but it's not one of my favorites um the shellback uh good song nothing nothing fancy but good song wild wild nights well if you know running wild you already know what kind of song this is it's nothing nothing new then we end up with an epic the iron times 1618 through 1648 this song's pretty cool um, some epics on Running Wild albums really aren't my favorite. Like, they're okay, but they're usually just kind of slow and drawn out. This one's awesome. I have to say, this is one of the best epics, I think, Running Wild has done in a while. So, and it's like, like 10 minutes and 29 seconds, it says. So, yeah, this one's got a really good chorus. It's got a very good, uh, very good opening very cool very cool um so basically this album i think it's good i think it's one of the better albums that he's done in recent times this and rapid foray maybe in consistency this might be a little better than rapid foray but i do think rapid foray might have a little more it's a little more gutsy trying you know i don't know the, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're about the same in, <laughs> in uh, creativity and trying new things. I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. They're pretty equal albums. It's not a letdown. It, it didn't surprise me, but it's not a letdown. So I think if you like Running Wild, I think you have a decent album here. Uh, one that's listenable. One that's... It's not going to be better than... You know, your death or glories or your pile of skulls or blazing stones. But for modern running wild, I 
think this is about as good as it's going to get. So enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. And I'm glad he's still doing it. Um, you know, there's some people out there that talk nasty things about bands when they start getting stale. And, you know, I love Rolf, man. Like, he's he's a legend. I He created a style true pirate metal i mean I, I don't care who you say like who who started pirate metal i mean there were some bands that wrote about pirates before them but nobody has taken it to the level these guys did and there's definitely a sound to his playing his voice uh he's just got a certain sound to his music that man running wild is running wild you know it's that's what's cool about it even if you don't experiment too much but yeah i i enjoy this album i'm glad i got it um, this one even came with a poster. I'm running out of wall space, but I kind of want to hang it up on something. And, you know, it's kind of a nice little fold out here. You got, you know, you got Adrian, their mascot. Um, you know, got Rolf being a pirate. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I recommend go, going out and getting this. But, uh. Yeah, if you like this video, thanks for watching. Stay metal and uh, subscribe. I'll do some more. So, thanks.